Hi friends, it's Pastor Tim Henderson. I want to answer, um, I'm, I'm coming back on because I want to answer a question that I'm getting from more than a few of you. And that is, you'll say things like, what do you mean by soon? Now I have, I have stated this before. When I say imminent, it means that he could come. The rapture could happen at any time. Only the Father knows the day and the hour. We know the season we're in. And, and I'm not, I don't have time because I try to keep these videos short. So I'm not going to rehash and go into all those things and things I teach on like the, like the Moads. You know, many people think that we have the sun and the moon and the stars for light, but that's not why. That's not what Genesis tells us. They're for signs and times and seasons. The feast, for instance, the seven feasts, we, you know, Christ died on Passover. He was buried on unleavened bread. He rose from the dead on first fruits. We got the gift of Holy Spirit, the outpouring of Holy Spirit on Shavuot or Pentecost. We have three that have had significant events happen that are yet to be completely fulfilled. Feast of Trumpets, Day of Atonement, and Feast of Tabernacles, or Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, and uh, Sukkot. So they're significant. They're holy convocations. They're dress rehearsals, but so is Shabbat, and we're in Shabbat now. And some would criticize me for doing a video then, but I really do like to answer your questions. And I don't take offense. Now, I am going to say this. I'm, I'm going to digress for a second. I don't mind if you think I'm a false prophet and a heretic and those kind of things. I love you anyway. I do mind if you're on there and you use really foul language. I will block you and I will erase it if I catch it. Or I should say when I do catch it. So I don't block people just for disagreeing with me. But if, you, if you're going to use... If you're going to attack people with just really foul language and 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 just meanness, then I definitely will do that. So now I'm going to go back. So when people say, what do you mean by soon? And, and I just read a comment just a little while ago. You never, you never will answer this question. I have answered that question. I'm going to do it again here. And I hope that this is the last time I have to answer it. So when, I, I already explained when I say imminent, when I say soon or very soon, I mean literally that I believe it could be at any moment. I had a man in my church uh, one Sunday yell out, an, a newer person who, by the way, is coming and now seeing the light and, and uh, became a member. And he yelled out, well, I made the statement, you know, Jesus is coming very, very, very soon. The rapture, the harpazo, the, the catching away. And he said, yeah, the Apostle Paul was saying that a couple thousand years ago. That's right. That, that's evidence that we are really close. End times began when Jesus Christ paid the price for our sin, conquered hell, death, and the grave, and rose from the dead, and the, the formation of the church approximately 2,000 years ago. Now we are in the final moments of the end of days. And everything, that's what this channel is about, everything prophetically that needed to happen for the rapture of the church has happened. We've seen the budding of the fig tree and all the things I talk about and, and teach. Listen, I really am a watchman. I do not set a date. I have never set a date. I see the comments. You keep setting a date. I have never set a date. I, I think some of the trolls on here, and I, I mean that lovingly, look at the titles or, or view a few seconds and say, well, we know what that's about. And they immediately post their things that they want to prove. Listen, I don't do that to you. Why are you doing that? He, disagree fine but I have don't lie don't don't misrepresent listen to the video if you want to represent what I say listen you could take my video I have given express permission you can take this video and you can share it under your own header I I honestly that's fine you can mock me and scoff me if you share the video but make sure what you represent that I say is the truth of what I say because if you disagree with that, that's fine. Just just be forthright about it. You can take the information that I give you and verify it again. I, I'm not going to give all scripture references here. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Verify it yourself and use it. You have my express permission. I just want people to know. I want the alarm sounded. 
our bridegroom is coming very, very soon. I want people to have the opportunity to surrender their life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, to be born again before that happens so they can be part of the bride because that's just awesome in, in so many ways. So when the Bible says a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like a day, that has great significance to the Bible student, the person who has studied this. So we look at the days of creation, six days, and then God rested on the seventh day. If we, different theologians and different uh, students of the Bible, put different classifications to those time periods. When I look at the first two days, I classify them as the day of chaos, days of chaos. When I then take the next 2,000 years, I classify them as the time of Torah. Now, the next 2,000 years, I classify as the latter days or the, or the church age. Now, when did that start? When Jesus shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary, conquered hell, death, and the grave, and rose from the dead. That began then. So we are in the final moments of the end of days. Now, when you look at what the psalmist said, a generation is 70 years, 80 at the most, right? Different translations, different people will use different words, if you have the strength, if you have whatever. So, that's from the budding of the fig tree. Israel became a nation in one day, fulfilling prophecy on May 14th, 1948. So we know. So when people say to me, well, it could be 30 years. It could be a thousand years. No, it can't. Even though we don't know the day nor the hour, it can't be that long. Could it possibly be another five years, seven years, nine years? It, it could. I highly doubt it because of the convergence of everything going, but it could. So when I say soon, if we even said 10 years, folks, that's soon in light of time, because what's going to happen at the end of this church age, at the end of what some classify as the time of the Gentile is going to be, okay, so the bride is going to be caught out of here, right? In the twinkling of an eye, one fortieth of a second, then while the tribute, while the man of perdition comes on the scene, he's going to, Daniel 9, 27, I've shared this, he's going to confirm or ratify, make greater that peace deal uh, with the nations of the world and Israel for three and a half years. But it, it's not going to be real. It, it, it's, it's phony. And at three and a half years, and, and I'm not cursing, but I literally mean hell, all hell is going to break loose on the planet. And and so you've got the tribulation period or that last three and a half years, some call the great tribulation, but I, I kind of, the seven year tribulation period. So the bride is caught up. We go to, to the marriage, to, in, to the bridal tent, and then the wedding feast of the lamb. I believe, I could be wrong, this is my belief, we do know that there's going to be a judgment seat of Christ. I believe we're going to be caught up. I think we're going to make a, 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 a stopover at the judgment seat of Christ where we'll receive our rewards. It is, I think there's going to be a moment where we're going to see where we missed out on the plan and the destiny that God had for us. But it's not one to keep us in condemnation because Romans 8, 1 says, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And so I think we're going to make a stop and I think we're going to get rewards at that point. And then I think that, I, I think it's, I look at it this way, at that judgment seat of Christ, there will be that moment where all will be revealed and, and there, there clearly will be regrets and, and, and see where we missed it. But then we're just going to shed that off because that's it. We're, we're then we're then going to that marriage and that marriage feast. While we are in that time period, that seven years tribulation is going to be going on. And then at the end of that time, we are going to come back with our bridegroom, with our, we're the bride of Christ, right? We're coming back with Jesus because once we get caught up, we're going to be with him forever. And he's going to come on a white horse. We're going to have our horses and he's going to speak the word, and that battle of Armageddon is going to be over, and then the millennial kingdom. The millennial kingdom is the seventh day, or that 
last thousand years. Listen, no matter how you add it up, we are clearly in the final moments of the end of days. So when people say to me, well, it could be 30 years. Well, it could be. No, it really can't. When you look at the Bible and you study the Bible, then some of you will criticize me and say, well, there you go, setting a date. No, I'm not setting a date. I'm telling you, we know the season we're in. So when you look at the, at the timeline from Genesis and you look at the fact that a generation is 70, 80 years at the most from the budding of the fig tree, and then you look at how everything is converging from the signs that we are in the final moments of the end of days, we are at a tipping point, I'm telling you, Jesus is coming soon. Now, some will say, well, that depresses me. Well, then don't watch this channel so frequently. Some will say, well, every hour you put one up. No, I don't. Um, there have been days I put one up. There have been days I put five up. I do it as inspired. I'm just a man who loves the Lord, a watchman with the capability of taking a few moments and as the Holy Spirit inspires me, get that word out there as I watch and I stay in tune to real news and what's going on really in the geopolitical and signs of the time, I, I share that. Now, I hope that clarifies that no, it can, I do not believe it can be 30 years, no. And you'll say, well, no one knows the day nor the hour. I believe it's very, very soon. So when I say imminent, I mean it could happen at any time, meaning God's time, God knows. That imminent could be at any time in history, right? But when I say very, very, very soon, it's very, very, very soon. What does that mean? I don't know the day nor the hour, but I know the season we're in. And based on, I talk about putting the puzzle pieces together, I don't know how much longer we could, we could be on this planet. And we need, when I say occupy and redeem the time, we need to reach out to the lost as much as we can. So when I see comments like, your videos, they excite me, but when it doesn't happen right away, I wanted someone from Peru said, I, I wanna go to the mountains and, and hide there and not live life. We're not, that's not what I'm talking about. You don't go hide out and, and how are you gonna witness if you're hiding out? Live your life, live it fully, embrace every moment knowing that very soon the bridegroom is coming and we don't we don't have much time live in that now, live as if today is our last day and go ahead and live like you have 100 years or the rest of your life whatever that lifespan is on the planet go ahead and do that but but this is a big but know that it's very 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 soon i hope that helps you guys some will say well that didn't clarify yes it does when I say soon, I, I do not believe that it can possibly be beyond nine years, but I don't, I don't even see us being here two years. And I really, I really believe, I really believe at any moment, I still believe the rapture could happen in 2018. Some would say, you're nuts. Or, or they'll say things like, well, what happens when it's January and we're still here? Then I have more time to share the good news and hopefully take some others along with us. But I'm telling you, everything that is happening right now, if you look at the videos, we are close. Now, one last thing. Some of you have said you don't get alerted when the videos come out and you really like following it. I, I know you can hit the bell. Some have said, I think you may be censored. More than a few have said that. That's very possible. I don't know what to tell you with that. What I would say is, if you agree with this channel, share it, take it, spread the word. Let's get it out there. As many people, listen, I'm, I'm not taking anything for this channel. I'm putting it out there because I love you and Jesus loves you. And we want others to know his love and come to saving faith in Jesus Christ, to be new creatures born again. That's what, that, that should be our desire right now. So if you can use this in any way, please do so. Again, I hope that clarifies. When you look at the six days of creation, the 6,000 years, we are, we are near the very end of the 6,000 years. There's some 
dispate on uh, debate, I should say, dispate, make a new language. There's some debate on the timing of that, but we are so close. And at any moment, at any moment, I'm, I've been saying for three years, we are in the calm before the storm. And right now, even in my spirit, I, I feel like, have you ever felt like it's almost eerie? It's almost eerie the time that we're in right now. Wow. Jesus' heart is for the lost, and so should ours be. So brothers and sisters, God bless you. Shalom, and have an awesome rest of your day.